That's it. Pull into the station. All right, everyone. It's time to tidy up. Caillou was very disappointed. He'd spent a long time setting up the train tracks. He didn't want to take it all apart again. Miss Martin, can we leave our train here? I'm afraid not, Caillou. As I said, it's time to clean up. But if we leave the train here, we can play with it again later. Now, Caillou, tidying up after playing is a very important rule. I don't like that rule. I don't either. No. Yeah, me neither. Well, if you really want to, perhaps we could try a little experiment. What's that? An experiment is a test or trial to see what will happen. We can go without the cleanup rule for a while and see how it goes. Yeah! 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 <laughs> Caillou liked not having to tidy up all the time. In fact, everyone liked not having to tidy up. Goodbye, Leo. I like not tidying up. It means more time to play. <laughs> we'll see about that. I have a sneaking feeling you may change your mind. I don't think so. Bye, Miss Martin. Caillou, your coat doesn't go on the floor. Oops. Sorry, Mommy. We don't tidy up anymore at preschool. It's an experiment. An experiment, hmm? Uh-huh. Miss Martin says we'll see what happens when we don't tidy up. Can we try it at home, too? I don't think so. How about just in my room? Please. I like not tidying up. All right. But just in your room. And only for a few days. Yay! Vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom. It didn't take long before Caillou's room was just as messy as the classroom. Oh, Caillou, are you sure you don't want to tidy up just a bit? Nope. I like it when I can see all my toys. <laughs> I don't think Gilbert likes it so much. Come on, Gilbert. I'll make you a path. See? Isn't this fun? The next morning, Caillou wasn't so happy about the mess. It was hard to get around his room and hard to find things. Oh. Caillou, it's time to go. I can't find my new sports car. I need it for show and tell. Isn't it in your car box? No, I didn't put my cars back in the box yesterday. Well, we don't have time to look for it now. We've got to go or you'll be late for preschool. Uh, okay. Caillou was disappointed at not finding his car, but he was still excited about having another no cleaning allowed day at school. Time for morning exercises. Ooh. Hey, I don't have any room. I'm afraid you're right. I don't think we'll be able to do our exercises this morning. No. Oh, no. Instead, you may play for a few minutes before circle time. Yeah. Hey, watch out. Sorry, Caillou. I was just trying to get this puzzle. Pieces are all over. Aww. Hey, I don't have any room. <gasps> oh no, I'm 
sorry, Caillou. It's okay. I can make a new one. Huh? The clay is all hard. I can't make anything with this. I'm sorry, Caillou. If the clay isn't put away in its container, it hardens like that. Caillou was frustrated. Nothing was working out today, and all because the room was so messy. Ow! Miss Martin, I think I liked it better when we tidied up. It was a little easier to do things when the place was neat, wasn't it? Is it okay if we tidy up now? Of course. How would you like to be my cleanup leader? Sure. What a wonderful job. I don't think our room has ever been this tidy. Thank you, everybody. I think we should keep the cleanup roll, Miss Martin. That sounds like an excellent idea, Caillou. And now that we've got all this room, should we do our morning exercises? Yay! Yay! Okay! Hi, Mommy, come on, let's go. <laughs> What's the hurry, Caillou? I want to get home fast. How come? I decided it's time to tidy up my room. Mommy was very proud of Caillou. He had learned how important it is to keep things tidy. Did you have fun at preschool today, Caillou? Yes, and I have a surprise for you. of Gilbert. Do you like it? I love it, Caillou. It looks just like him. We have a surprise for you, too. Grandpa's coming over, and he's going to take you somewhere special. That's probably him now. Grandpa, where are you taking me? <laughs> what? No hug, Caillou? <laughs> That's better. Now, I'll tell you, I'm going to take you bowling. Bowling? Caillou was surprised. He had never been bowling before. Isn't that for grown-ups? No, I learned how to bowl when I was your age. And now, I'm going to teach you at the bowling alley. The bowling alley? Couldn't we just bowl in the backyard? I think you'll really like the bowling alley, Caillou. It has bowling pins and balls, and it's a fun place to get some exercise. What do you say we give it a try? Okay. Here we are. At first, Caillou was a little nervous, especially when he heard the loud knocking of the pins. But when Caillou looked around, he was pleasantly surprised. Grandpa, look! It's my friend Sarah! Sarah! Seeing a friend at the bowling alley made Caillou feel even better. Are we going to play now, Grandpa? As soon as we get our shoes. Can't I wear my own shoes? I'm afraid not, Caillou. These are special shoes, made for bowling on the wooden alleys. This is my grandson's first time bowling. Well, you're in for a fun time there, laddie. Let's see, I'll put you in lane three. Lane three. Thanks, Amos. Now you look like a champion bowler. So we each get a few practice balls, and here's where we get them from. It's called the ball return. You be careful when we're grabbing a ball. We don't want the balls to pinch our fingers. Okay, Grandpa. I'll be careful. Now, do you see those pins? The idea of the game is to knock down as many pins as you can. Each pin is worth points. 
This computer will keep track of our points and tell us our score. Now watch your old grandpa. I'll show you how to throw the ball. Wow, Grandpa! You knocked them all down. Indeed. When that happens, it's called a strike. Now, it's your turn to give it a try. Uh, it's heavy, Grandpa. Maybe you should roll the ball down the alley with both hands. Like your friend Sarah. When the ball lands on the side like that, it's called a gutter ball. It happens to everyone, <laughs> even me. The trick is to aim the ball right down the middle. Try again. I did it! I knocked down a pin! Now Caillou was feeling more confident. <laughs> Hooray, Caillou! I knew you could do it. Now, there's one more thing I need to teach you. Really? What's that? My handy-dandy bowling high five. Now we're ready to play. Oh, do you think Sarah and her mom could play with us, Grandpa? Sure, I don't see why not. Let's ask them. Your mom is good, just like Grandpa. Look at all the strikes. She plays on a team with other bowlers. They get lots of practice. It's your turn, Caillou. Yeah! I knocked down a pin! That's the way, Caillou. Caillou, you're doing very well. Thanks again for the game. Bye, Caillou. Bye, Sarah. That was fun. I'm glad you think so, Caillou, because I have another surprise for you. Caillou could hardly wait to see what the next surprise would be. So, did you have a good game? We sure did. Caillou bowled a terrific game for a beginner. Well then, this is for you. For me? But I didn't win. Everybody wins when they come out and try something new, Caillou. You deserve a ribbon. Wow, thanks. And I threw the ball and knocked down the pins and we wore special shoes. And look, the nice man at the counter gave me a ribbon. I'm so proud of you, Caillou. Yes, it sounds like you had lots of fun at the bowling alley. I did! Does this mean you'll go bowling with me again? Yes! Can we go tomorrow? Caillou had learned that it's always good to try new things, like bowling. <laughs> Caillou really liked preschool. He liked playtime, snack time, and story time. But his favorite time of all was... All right, everyone, let's tidy up. It's time for... Show and tell! I brought an old-fashioned car. I've got a book about dinosaurs. You brought a dinosaur book last time. <laughs> yeah, but it was a different one. Clementine, did you forget to bring something for show and tell? Nope. I've got something to show, but it's a surprise. Caillou was very curious to see what Clementine's show and tell would be. Clementine, what would you like to show the class? I learned 
how to do something. <gasps> oh! <gasps> Oh, that's wonderful, Clementine. You learned to whistle. <laughs> you really wanted to be able to whistle, too. embarrassed that he couldn't do something that his friends could do. Hi, Murphy. Wow, you whistled and he came. How was your day, honey? Honey? I can't whistle! Whistling is very hard, Caillou. It took me ages to figure it out. Try puckering up more. Hmm, let me guess. You're pretending to be the wind. No. Blow birthday candles? You're a chipmunk with your cheeks full of nuts. <laughs> no. Caillou's trying to whistle. But now it's time to take a break and eat. Okay, Mommy. Just keep trying. You'll get the hang of it. Clementine whistled and a doggy ran right up to her. I'm going to teach Gilbert to come when I whistle. Hmm. Let's give it a try. <laughs> it may take a bit of practice. I'm going to practice and practice and practice. <gasps> Rosie! Caillou practiced and practiced and practiced, but he still couldn't whistle. Oops. Time for bed, Caillou. I'm so proud of how hard you've been working at your whistling. But I still can't do it. Whistling is a very tricky thing. It can take a long, long time to learn how to do it. But Leo learned right away. Everyone learns at their own speed, Caillou. Don't worry, you'll get it eventually. Good night. He knew Daddy was right, but eventually sounded like such a long, long way off. <sighs> Good morning, Caillou. Caillou! Rosie, whistle! You can? <laughs> nice job, Rosie. Clementine just called Caillou. She's coming over to play after breakfast. Oh. What's the matter, Caillou? I don't want to play with Clementine. Why not? She can whistle, and I can't. Whether you can whistle or not, Clementine is your friend. You don't want to miss out on a fun time, do you? When Daddy put it like that, Caillou saw how silly he was behaving. <laughs> <laughs> Clementine!
Ryan's here! <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to wiggle my ears. I can do it. See? Cool. It's not as cool as whistling. I tried and tried and tried and I still can't do it. Oh, uh, it takes a while. I worked at it for a whole week. You did? Hmm. Could you teach me how to whistle? Sure, but only if you teach me that wiggly ear trick. It's a deal! <laughs> Come on, Caillou. Let's get started. Caillou had realized it's easier to learn something new with a little help from a friend. Nice spaceship, Leo. Thanks. My mom bought me this cool marker. It glows. Really? Yeah, but it only glows in the dark. You have to see it at night. Caillou was intrigued. He'd never seen a marker that glowed in the dark before. Can I borrow it? Uh, I don't know. I really need it. I'm supposed to make a special birthday card for my grandma. Please, I'll bring it back to you tomorrow. Well, um, okay. Just don't forget. Promise. Caillou was very excited to try out Leo's marker. He could hardly wait to see how it glowed in the dark. There. Cool. Not dark enough yet. Caillou, dinner time. Caillou knew that dinner time meant it would soon be dark outside. Then the marker would really glow. Coming, Mommy! <laughs> I'm glad you like your peas, Caillou. But slow down. You must really be hungry tonight. Uh-uh. I'm in a hurry. What's the rush? I can't wait for it to be dark. <laughs> Did you hear that, dear? Caillou's in a hurry to go to bed tonight. Bedtime? <laughs> no. I borrowed Leo's marker. It glows in the dark. I'm going to try it out. I bet it's really glowy. I have to admit, that's a pretty neat marker. And a very nice drawing. Thank you, Daddy. It is pretty glowy. <laughs> Don't forget to give Leo his marker back tomorrow. I won't. Come on over here. <laughs> hey, Caillou. Can I have my marker back? Oh, no. I forgot it. But you said you'd bring it. I'm sorry, Leo. I'll bring it tomorrow. What if you forget again? I need it. I haven't made a card for my grandma yet. I'll remember. I promise. Hey, do you want to help me build a tower? Okay. Bye, Caillou. Don't forget. Forget what? Caillou had already forgotten about his promise to Leo. My marker! You promised to bring it tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Okay. Caillou wasn't sure how he'd remember to bring Leo's marker. Mommy, how do you remember things? Remember things? Well, sometimes I write them down. Like my grocery list when we go shopping. But what if you can't write? Well, I'd probably draw a picture to remind myself. Yeah! Caillou thought that was a great idea. He'd draw a picture to remind himself of Leo's marker. Aha! Uh -huh. There! Now I won't forget. Hey there, Caillou. 
How about a quick game of soccer before dinner? Yeah, okay. Bye. Did you bring my marker? Oh no, I forgot again. Caillou, you promised. I'm sorry, I drew a picture to remind me. I put it on my dresser, but I didn't see it. You need to remember. I know. I'm sorry. I'll bring it tomorrow. I triple promise. Caillou felt really bad. He wanted to make it up to Leo. Here, Leo. You can have some of my stickers if you want. Thanks. I can use them on my grandma's card. When I make it. Remember to clean desks. Caillou needed to find a way to remember Leo's marker. And seeing Miss Martin stick a reminder note to her desk gave him an idea. Leo, can I have one of my stickers back? How come? I have an idea to help me remember your marker. <laughs> Caillou, time to get up. A straw. <gasps> Leo's marker. Leo, I brought your marker. You remembered. Now I can make a card for my grandma. <laughs> if I remember. Now you'll remember. <laughs> Thanks, Caillou. Leo was happy to borrow Caillou's sticker. And Caillou was happy to have a way to always remember something important. Rosie were having fun playing together. Rosie liked copying her big brother. Huh? Hey. Oh. <laughs> That's one sound you won't be able to copy, Rosie. Are you getting hungry, Caillou? Is it almost dinner time? It is, and it's Friday night, and you know what that means. It's pizza night! I love pizza night! Did somebody mention pizza night? Hey! I have an idea. Why don't we make pizza tonight? But we always order pizza. It might be a nice change, Caillou. We have fresh dough in the refrigerator. And lots of yummy toppings, so we can make pizza just the way we like it. Caillou wasn't so sure. Making pizza seemed like it would take a long time. Wouldn't it be faster if the pizza man brought pizza to our house? Faster isn't always better, Caillou. Besides, there's nothing more fun than making homemade pizza. Okay, Mommy, I'm ready to help. First, you need to wash your hands. And you too, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's enough soap for now. Now that your hands are nice and clean, I have a surprise for you. Caillou loves surprises. He wondered what it could be. Every chef needs an apron. Flowers! And a dinosaur, just like Rexy. <laughs> now we look like real chefs, Rosie. 
Here you go. You each get some pizza dough. This doesn't look like pizza. That's because we have to turn it into pizza. And to do that, <laughs> we have to knead and roll the dough. It feels squishy, like modeling clay. <laughs> you have pizza dough on your nose, Rosie, like a clown. <laughs> now we're ready to roll the dough. Give it a try, Caillou. Back and forth with your rolling pin. <laughs> it's working. It's getting flat. That's it, Caillou. <laughs> Look, Rosie. There's one big pizza and two little ones. Can I have my own pizza, Daddy? Both you and Rosie can have your own pizza. And you can decorate it. But first, we need to put on some tomato sauce. I can do that. Oh, no! I got sauce on my apron. That's all right, Caillou. That's what aprons are for, to help keep your clothes clean while you work in the kitchen. Rosie thought her apron needed some pizza sauce, too. <laughs> Rosie! <laughs> okay, I think that's enough pizza sauce for now. It's time to put on the pizza toppings. Mmm! Tomatoes, chicken, spinach, <laughs> onions, yuck! That's okay, Caillou. You don't have to put onions on your pizza. Caillou began decorating his pizza. He was being very careful not to let anyone see it. How's it going, Caillou? Great! I'm making a picture, but I want it to be a surprise. Do you like my pizza? It's a picture of me. Oh, yes, I can see that. It looks just like you, Caillou. I think it's time to put these pizzas in the oven. Can I help? Sorry, Caillou. This is a job for grown-ups. The oven is very hot. But you could help me set the timer. Okay. We'll set the timer for 15 minutes. Push this little button right here, Caillou. Now we'll wait for the timer to ring and tell us when the pizzas are done. Hmm. Caillou didn't want to wait for the pizzas to be done. He wanted to eat right away. I'm hungry too, Caillou, but you can't rush a good pizza. was growing tired of waiting for the timer to ring. Five more minutes. I don't think these pizzas are ever going to cook, Mommy. Maybe we should play for a few minutes until they're done. I know! We can play restaurant! I'll be the waiter and you can be my customers, okay? Okay. Okay. I've never been to Caillou's Pizza Parlor before. <gasps> what a lovely place! My name is Caillou, and I'll be your waiter. Can I take your pizza order? Sure. Let's see. We'd like to order 22 pizzas, please. We're very hungry. <laughs> okay. What would you like on them? Caillou was having fun being a waiter. He even <laughs> pretended to write down his customers' orders. Let's see. We'll have one with chicken and mushrooms. Peppers! That's right. Peppers. And how about a pineapple and ham pizza? <laughs> or maybe a cauliflower and mashed potato pizza. Mashed potatoes? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Soon Caillou was laughing so much, he forgot all about the real pizzas cooking in the oven. Until... <laughs> Our pizzas! They're ready! Think, Caillou? It's yummy. I think we should make pizza every Friday night. It sounds to me like Caillou's Pizza Parlor is a big success. <laughs> it sure is. And that's how Caillou learned that making food at home can be lots of fun.
that was a lot of work. Caillou's daddy had spent the whole afternoon raking leaves in their yard. Wow! Look at all those leaves! That's right. Every autumn, it's the same thing. All the trees drop their leaves, and it's my job to clean them up. Whoa! I can't wait till I'm a daddy and I get to do all the fun jobs. <laughs> well, if you think raking the leaves is fun, I know another fall activity you'll really love. Jump right into the middle of the pile. <laughs> Again! <laughs> Again! <laughs> Caillou was having a wonderful time. He never knew that jumping into leaves could be so much fun. Wow, we've been jumping for a long time, Caillou. I think we'd better call it a day. It'll be dinner time soon. Caillou was disappointed. He didn't want his leaf jumping fun to end. Oh, can I keep jumping, Daddy? I'm having fun. Sorry to be a spoil sport, Caillou, but it's time to tidy up. Come back here. <laughs> Hmm, this could be a problem. How about some help, Caillou? Okay. All done. You see, Caillou, there's always a way to figure out a problem. You just have to use your imagination. Or your fingers. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> Let's go inside. But, Daddy, when will I get to jump in the leaves again? Oh, probably not till next fall, but maybe you can find something else to jump on. Caillou thought that sounded like a good idea, but he wondered what could possibly be as much fun as jumping on a pile of leaves. Uh, Caillou, what are you doing? I was... Going to jump on the cushions? On the cushions? Oh, I don't know if I like that idea. But, Mommy, I was just pretending it was a leaf pile. Oh, I see. Well, perhaps you can find a leaf pile somewhere else. <sighs> okay, Mommy. Mommy had said it wasn't a good idea to jump on the couch, but she never said anything about Caillou's bed. Caillou, what are you doing? I'm, um, trying to find something else to jump on. Caillou, jumping is fun, I know, but your bed isn't the right something else to jump on. I think it's better for sleeping in, don't you? There's still a little time before dinner. Why don't you see if Rosie will let you jump on her beanbag? That's always fun. Yeah, Rosie's beanbag! Caillou thought he had found the perfect thing to jump on. Caillou! Story time! Sorry, Rosie. I don't want to look at stories. I want to jump! Can you get up so I can use your beanbag? Story time! I have a great idea. Let's share it. Ugh, squeeze over, Rosie! Caillou and Rosie tried to share the beanbag chair, but there just wasn't enough room for both of them. No room, no room! Ugh. Oh, I can't jump anywhere! Bye, Caillou! Caillou was feeling a little frustrated. He couldn't think of any place where he could jump and have fun, other than the leaf pile. <gasps> Gilbert's bed! Oh! Gilbert! I was just going to jump there!
You see, Caillou, there's always a way to solve a problem. You just have to use your imagination. Or your fingers. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> That's it! Daddy grabbed up all the leaves with his fingers. My pillow! <laughs> yeah! That's fun! Caillou wondered what else he could add to the pile. Whee! Caillou's daddy had been right. There was always a way to figure out a problem. <sighs> this is gonna be the bounciest pile ever! Bouncy Caillou! Wow, looks like you're having fun. Yeah, I made my own leaf pile. I guess you won't have to wait till fall now. And I'm sure you'll clean up your room when you're done, right? <laughs> yes, I'll make sure I rake it all up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hate to be a spoil sport, but dinner's almost ready. I hope you've bounced up a good appetite. I'll be down in a minute. Caillou was so happy. He had made a wonderful new leaf pile to jump on. And he even had some company. Rosie jumped too? And that's how Caillou <laughs> realized he could solve a problem with a little imagination. What is it, Caillou? Caillou was very excited to show Mommy what was in his shopping bag. Oh, roller skates. That looks like fun, Caillou. And good exercise, too. Yeah, that's why Daddy bought them for me. I can't wait to try them. <laughs> Gilbert! Roller skating isn't for kitties, Gilbert. Rosie skate? <gasps> no, Rosie. You have to wait till you're bigger like me to learn how to roller skate. <laughs> Daddy, can we go roller skating now? Please, please, please! <laughs> okay, Caillou. Let's grab your helmet and safety pads and we'll go to the park. The park? We were going roller skating. We are. There's a special path at the park just for roller skaters and cyclists. There is? Yay! Here we are. What do you think, Caillou? I like it. Can I skate now? As soon as we get your stuff on. There we go. Skates? Check. Knee pads? Check. Wrist guards, elbow pads, and helmet. Check, check, and check. Why do I need to wear all of this stuff? For safety, Caillou, in case you fall. Fall? <laughs> no way. Roller skating is easy. Watch me, Daddy. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. Oh. Oops. Ouchie. Are you okay, Caillou? I'm okay. I just wish these skates weren't so wobbly. Whoa! Ah! I thought roller skating would be easy. Some activities are harder than others, Caillou. This is hard, all right. <laughs> It'll get easier, I promise. Whoa! As Caillou sat on the ground, he watched some of the bigger kids on their skates. He was amazed. <laughs> Whoa. I wish I could skate like them. You will be able to skate like them one day, Caillou. You just need a little practice. He wasn't convinced. He began to think he'd never learn how to roller skate. Caillou! Whoa! 
<laughs> Daniel! What are you doing here? Hey, Caillou. I'm trying out my new inline skates. They're very snazzy, Daniel. Maybe you'd like to have a pair like that one day, Caillou. Hmm. Caillou wasn't so sure. He could hardly skate in the ones he had. <laughs> How did you get to be so good, Daniel? Practice, I guess. I wasn't always good at skating. Really? Yeah. When I was about your age, I thought I would never learn how to roller skate. Whoa! Ugh. Oh, man. Yeah, I used to fall all the time. But I practiced and I practiced. I guess I got pretty good at it. Suddenly, Caillou felt much better. If Daniel could become a good skater, then maybe he could too. He shoots and scores a goal! I could show you some tricks to help you learn. What do you say? Yes, please! If you stretch your arms out like this, it'll help you keep your balance. Hey, I'm not as wobbly. Now push off with one foot, like this, and then the other foot. Push and glide. Push and glide. That's it, Caillou. You're getting it. I'm still really wobbly. Hmm. I think I see the problem, Caillou. You're looking down at your feet while you're skating. My feet? That's right. If you look up at something else instead of your feet, you'll have better balance. But I don't know how to stop looking at my feet. I know. You can watch me while we play roller tag. Roller tag? Caillou loved tag, but he was worried he wouldn't be able to skate fast enough to catch Daniel. Don't worry. I won't skate fast. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> That's it! Come and get me! <laughs> huh? Whoa! Look out! Phew! <laughs> Come and get me! You can do it! Come on! <laughs> gotcha! Did you see that, Daddy? I'm skating! Way to go, Caillou! I knew you could do it! Yeah, you're doing awesome! Yeah, awesome! <laughs> whoa, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna keep practicing so I get even better! <laughs> yeah, then when I outgrow my skates, you can have them. Really? Wow! Thanks, Daniel! And you know what else? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Caillou learned that practicing could be lots of fun, especially when it's done with a friend. One day, Caillou and his family walked to the playground. Caillou was in a big hurry. Can't we walk faster? I want to try the new twisty slide. <laughs> I know, Caillou, but Rosie's legs only go so fast. Here we are, Rosie, at the crosswalk. It's where we safely cross the street. Oh, I can see the slide from here. Hang on, Caillou. We have to teach Rosie how to cross the street properly. First, we push the button so the sign flashes. Then we look both ways to make sure the cars have stopped. And then you hold a grown-up's hand and walk across. You too, Caillou. But I'm bigger than Rosie. Do I still have to hold hands? Yes, it's safer that way. Uh, okay. Caillou thought Mommy and Daddy were being a bit too careful. 
Okay, we're here. Off you go. <gasps> Lucky! <gasps> a baby frog! <laughs> There's another one! Lucky! And another one! Where are they coming from? I think I know. Come on! Bye-bye! <laughs> Frogs come from eggs that are laid in the water. After a few weeks, they hatch and become tadpoles. Like that one! Then, as they get a little bigger, they grow legs. And pretty soon, they hop out of the water. And down the sidewalk. <laughs> <gasps> There's one on the street! Stay here. I'll get it. Hey, little fella. I'd have to guess that you're headed to that big pond across the street. It was probably trying to cross to the big pond. This one wants to go, too. <laughs> Mommy, what if they all want to go to the pond? They're too little to cross by themselves. That's true. Roads can be dangerous. Daddy, can you help all the frogs across the road? This could be a big job. <laughs> Please? I guess it's the right thing to do, but I'll need your help. Okay. Daddy, we're back. We brought the buckets from home. And the gloves. Just in time. These frogs are pretty eager to get to the pond on the other side of the street. So, here's the plan. We're going to very gently gather up the frogs and put them into these buckets. That way, I can take them all across the street in one trip. Okay, Daddy. Froggies! All right. Is everybody ready for the great frog roundup? Ready! Ready! Then let's get hopping! <laughs> Kids, I'll take these little guys across to the pond. <laughs> you two are so muddy. I can hardly tell who is who. <laughs> Let's see. You're... You, right? <laughs> no, me, Wozie. Oh, silly me. <laughs> Whoa, how come the frogs made it so hard? We were only trying to keep them safe. Well, young creatures are a bit like young people. They don't always know what's dangerous. Like crossing the street? Yes. So we help them across, just like you help me and Rosie. That's right. Caillou remembered how he'd complained about having to hold hands while crossing the street. Mommy, am I harder to take across the street than a baby frog? <laughs> Not when you cooperate. Well, we've made some frogs very happy. They love the big pond. Do you think we got them all? I hope so. Just in case we didn't, I know one more thing we could do. Now everybody will see that it's a frog crosswalk, too. 
It's a great sign, Caillou. Good thinking. It certainly was. But you know what? It's almost time to cross back and head home for dinner. Okay, I'll push the button. Remember this, Rosie? First we push the button, then we look both ways, then we hold hands with a grown-up, and then we cross. Aren't you forgetting something? Like what? You never tried that new slide at the playground. <gasps> I almost forgot! Come on! <laughs> Whoa! I'm coming, I'm coming! <laughs> Caillou realized how important safety rules are for everyone. It was a sunny summer day, and Caillou and Rosie were spending it with Grandma in her vegetable garden. What's this plant, Grandma? Those are Grandma's world-famous green beans. <laughs> That's silly. Beans can't be famous. Really? I always thought mine were. Caillou, look! Wow, Rosie. You found baby tomatoes. Rosie, no! You can't pick the tomatoes. They're still too small. Caillou was worried because he thought the tomatoes weren't ready to be picked yet. It's all right, Rosie. You can pick them. Caillou, these are cherry tomatoes. They're supposed to be small. Oh. <laughs> Oops. What's this, Grandma? That's my lettuce. Or at least it should be my lettuce. It looks like something's been nibbling at the leaves. Oh, well. Come on back to the house, you two. I've got a surprise for you. Caillou loves surprises. He wondered what it could be. You're both very welcome. Maybe I can get some nice photos of the two of you blowing bubbles. <gasps> like this, Rosie. You have to blow. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> Say cheese. Caillou enjoyed having his picture taken. <laughs> He especially loved seeing the picture after. Can I see it, Grandma? Of course. What's that, Grandma? <gasps> Grandma, it's a bunny rabbit! So that's the rascal who's been eating my lettuce. Can I please take a picture of the rabbit? Please? I want to show it to Mommy when she comes to pick us up. Well, you can try. Rabbits tend to be camera shy. But with a little perseverance, you might get a picture. What's perseverance? Perseverance. It means to not quit doing something, even if it's hard. Caillou was sure he had lots of perseverance. Well then, here you go, Caillou. I promise to be careful with it, Grandma. Rosie, see Wabbit too? Shh! Rosie, you'll scare it away. Rabbit, come play! Rosie! Shh! Bunnies are afraid of loud noises, Rosie. So if you and Caillou wanted to come out from under the shed, you'll have to be very quiet. Quiet? Quiet? Rosie, what are you doing? Rosie, quiet bunny! <sighs> Caillou was getting frustrated with his little bunny sister. He knew that the rabbit wouldn't come out if she kept hopping around. Rosie, you have to be quiet and stand still. <laughs> Grandma, how can I take a picture with Rosie here? <laughs> Rosie, sweetie, let's you and I go and play with the bubbles. Bubbles! Huh? Shoo! Shoo!
Lulu wanted to take the bunny's picture, but he was feeling frustrated. Have you given up already? Yes. Hmm. Maybe you could try coaxing the rabbit out from under the shed with a nibble. A nibble? Yeah, Grandma. Why don't we use your lettuce? You're absolutely right. Let's go and see if we can pull up some lettuce for the rabbit. Ta-da! A rabbit snack. Rosie, how can you? No, Rosie, I can do it. Ta-da! Yay! <laughs> well done, Caillou. <laughs> Caillou waited and waited hoping the rabbit would come out and eat the pieces of lettuce. <laughs> Say cheese, big fluffy clouds. Say cheese, flower. I don't think this bunny is ever going to come out. Say lettuce! Grandma, I did it! I took a picture of the bunny rabbit! Good for you, Caillou. You kept at it, and you finally got what you wanted. Bunny rabbit! Caillou was very pleased with his picture. It was worth waiting for. I can't wait to show it to Mommy! Well, Caillou, you're just going to have to wait for that as well. <laughs> Look, Mommy! I'm a bunny! I'm a giraffe! I'm a dinosaur! Rawr! <laughs> Let's see if you can be a galloping horse! We're going to be late for school if we don't hurry up. Bye, Mommy! Bye-bye! Rawr! It's a good day for shadows, isn't it, Caillou? Yes, that's because there aren't any clouds. When clouds cover up the sun, there aren't any shadows. My goodness, you know a lot about shadows. Caillou was very excited when Miss Martin said they could make more shadows inside. <gasps> oh! We can pretend that this flashlight is our sun. Who wants to make shadows? <laughs> <laughs> What happens when a cloud comes along? Caillou? The cloud blocks the sun's light so there's no shadow. That's right, Caillou. You know a lot about shadows. You must be a scientist. Scientists are people who study and learn about the world around us. Caillou was very proud to be a scientist. Do you want to play dinosaur shadows when we go outside at lunchtime? Yeah. But at lunchtime, Caillou had a big surprise. Rawr! Oh. Where'd our shadows go, Caillou? Caillou thought he knew everything about shadows, but he didn't know the answer to that. Race you to the slide. He did have a shadow, but it was only teeny tiny. Caillou was very disappointed. Caillou, what's the matter? 
Caillou liked being a scientist. He didn't want to admit he didn't know why his shadow had disappeared. But he also really, really wanted to know why it had disappeared. Miss Martin, why is my shadow gone? That's a very good question, Caillou. Let's talk about it inside. Caillou has a question. Can you repeat it for everyone, please? Don't be shy. Scientists ask questions like this all the time. They do? Oh, yes. Even scientists can learn more about things. And the way to learn more is to be curious and ask questions. Why didn't I have a shadow when I went outside at lunchtime? Let's all be scientists and try to solve this problem. First, what do we know about shadows? Shadows are made when something is in front of a light. Right. And when we're outside, that bright light is... The sun. Exactly. Now, is the sun always in the same place in the sky? When I get up early, I can see the sun rising. It comes up behind the house across the street. And at night, it goes down again. Now we're thinking like scientists. So, the sun can be seen in different places in the sky. When the sun moves, the shadows move too. Yes. Where was the sun when we went outside at lunchtime, Caillou? Caillou thought very hard and suddenly remembered. I remember it was straight up above my head. Right. Now let's create the same situation in our lab. Lab? <laughs> That's what we call our room when we're being scientists. It's short for laboratory. This is sunrise. That's what your shadow looked like this morning, right, Caillou? Yeah! Now let's put the sun where it was at lunchtime. The shadow is gone! Now, Caillou, what do you think will happen next? Hmm, let's see. Here's the sun at lunchtime, and then the sun goes down at sunset. That means the shadows are going to come back later. You've just done what scientists do, Caillou. You asked a question, looked at the facts, and made a guess about what will happen. Later, we'll go outside to see if Caillou's guess is right. Caillou was very excited to be a scientist, but he was a little nervous about his guess. Would he be right or wrong? In a pocket full of posies, asha, asha, we all fall down. Whoa! <laughs> well done. Now, who would like to go outside to see if Caillou is right and our shadows are back? Yeah! <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> oh no! Woohoo! Yeah! 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 Hmm. There you are. You are a very good scientist, Caillou. Do you know why? Because I was right. <laughs> and why else? Because I ask questions. Exactly. Miss Martin, I've got another question. Yes, Caillou? Can we play shadow tag? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'll get you, Leo. <laughs> Catch me if you can. Caillou learned how important it was and how much fun it could be to ask questions. Very excited. He was having Leo and Sarah over for a special play date. Hi, Leo. Hi, Leo. Hi Caillou. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi to you, too, Murphy. Now that you're all here, what are you kids going to do? Do you want to play in my backyard? <laughs> Murphy likes that idea. 
so do I. Me too. Caillou, over here. I'm open. Hey, Murphy, that pass was mine. Murphy! The ball looks like a squashed pumpkin. I guess we'll have to find something else to do. Do you want to toss a disc? Sure. But let's be quiet so we don't wake up Murphy. <laughs> Throw it to me! Throw it to me! Wow! You're really good at this. Nice catch, Sarah. You! Oh, no! Daddy, can you get our disc? Sorry, Caillou. I loaned our ladder to a neighbor. Looks like you'll have to find something else to do for a while. Caillou looked around the yard, but there wasn't a toy in sight. Um, I know. Let's play with the toys in my room. I've got sculpting clay. Yeah, and remote control cars. And tabletop hockey. Hey. Caillou had lots of exciting toys, but there was a small problem. He couldn't get into his bedroom. What's wrong, Caillou? Sorry, you can't come in. I'm painting your room, remember? Oh, I forgot. But I just wanted to get some of my toys to play with. All of your things are packed in boxes right now, Caillou. And there's paint everywhere. You'll have to wait a little while, okay? Okay. Sorry, guys. No modeling clay. Or remote control cars. Or tabletop hockey. That was nice of you to fetch your skipping rope, Sarah. Yeah! This is fun! Playing with Sarah's skipping rope was ideal until Murphy awoke from his nap and decided to join in the fun. No, Murphy, no! Murphy thought this was a fantastic game. Murphy? <laughs> Good dog. I got it! Oh, no! Oh, dear. Looks like we're going to need a new skipping rope. That's the third one this week. Caillou was feeling frustrated. His play date was not turning out how he'd hoped. Come on. Okay. Hi, kids. Hi, Mommy. Is it okay if we look for something to play with? Sure, but I don't think you'll find much down here. Aww, just gardening stuff. I found some tennis balls and sticks. <sighs> Whoopee. Rubber gloves. Caillou and his friends looked around, but all they found were odds and ends. It seemed there wasn't anything to play with. What are you doing, Mommy? I'm opening up old cans of paint. I plan to mix the colors together to make a new color for your dresser. As Caillou watched Mommy, he suddenly had an idea. Maybe we can make up something new too. Like a new game with all the tennis balls and sticks and stuff. Yeah, okay. The kids worked very hard at creating their new game. We can each have our own ball. And special sticks. Oops. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get it right. I must say, this is going to be one interesting playing field. Looks like we've got our goalie. 
<laughs> no, Murphy, that's not for you. Caillou and his friends were now ready to play their game. They even had a name for it. Yay! Fun ball! <laughs> <laughs> Anything can happen in Fun Bowl. The only rule is to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, sorry. I've got your ball. <laughs> Caillou. I finally have some toys and games for you. Thanks, Mommy. But we don't need them anymore. Our new game is lots of fun. Well then, I'd better let you get back to it. Come on, let's play! A he scores! scores! Nice one! <laughs> Murphy! That day, Caillou and his friends had lots of fun together. They didn't need toys or games. They made their own fun. <laughs> Caillou was excited. His older friend Daniel was coming over for the weekend while his parents were away. When is Daniel coming, Mommy? I'm sure he'll be here soon, Caillou. Are you excited? Yeah, Daniel's fun. He knows how to skateboard, and he can whistle, and he knows all about dinosaurs. Daniel knows a lot of things, doesn't he? Daniel knows everything. <laughs> everything? Really? He's here! Hi, Daniel! Hey, Caillou! How's it going? <laughs> Come on, let's play! Stegosaurus is the best dinosaur. It's got armor and spikes! Nah, Tyrannosaurus Rex is the best. The T-Rex is the king of the dinosaurs. Grrr! Caillou thought Daniel knew everything about dinosaurs. He figured he must be right. Yeah! Tyrannosaurus Rex is the best. Stegosauruses are silly. Actually, I'm not so into dinosaurs anymore. Check this out. An airplane? Yeah, airplanes are so cool. Caillou wanted to be just like Daniel, so he agreed with him. Yeah, airplanes are cool. They're my, uh, favorite. Awesome. What planes have you got? Uh, I don't know. Caillou looked, but the only plane he had was a model Grandpa had given him. And it wasn't put together yet. I don't have any. Sorry, Daniel. That's okay. I'll make one. Caillou watched in amazement as Daniel quickly folded up the paper. An airplane! Yep. Watch this. <gasps> wow! Ah! Wow! Can I make one? Sure. It's easy. You just fold your paper like this. And then on the other side. Yep. Here, look. See? All ready for takeoff? Ready! Three, Three two, two, one! one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Your plane flew way better than mine. Hey, that was pretty good for your first time. I'm thirsty. Is it okay if we get a drink? Sure. Hang on. Caillou was thirsty, too. But the paper aeroplanes had given him a fun idea. Whoa! <laughs> What's this? I see. <laughs> it's a secret message. I'm guessing somebody is thirsty. 
We are, Mommy. Can we have a drink? Mommy, did you see my plane fly? Daniel's planes fly even better. They're awesome. My dad taught me how to make them. Caillou, have you shown Daniel the model plane Grandpa gave you? No, it's not put together yet. It's not? Then we should build it. Yeah, I'll go get it. Have fun. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. This is gonna be cool. Yeah. <gasps> it looks hard to make. Nah, it's easy. We don't need any instructions. See? Caillou wasn't as confident as Daniel. But the picture helped him figure out how the parts should go together. Caillou felt proud. He had put two pieces of the airplane's tail together. Look, Daniel! Awesome, Caillou! Look, our plane's all done and ready to fly. Caillou thought the plane didn't look quite right. Daniel, our plane doesn't look like the one in the picture. What are you talking about? It's perfect. Now let's get flying. Caillou still wasn't sure, but he thought Daniel knew everything. So he must have been right about the plane. Pilot to co-pilot, ready for takeoff? Ready! Then let's go! Yay! <gasps> oh man! There must be something wrong with the plane. Rotten luck. Oh well. Come on, Caillou. We may as well go back inside. Caillou was sure the wings on the plane didn't look right. He decided he would fix them. Daniel, maybe the wings were on backwards. Maybe you're right, Caillou. I guess it's worth a try. Caillou, you fixed it. I guess I should have paid attention to the instructions. You sure know a lot of stuff. Thanks. Pilot to co-pilot, prepare for takeoff. Caillou was very proud. He realized even someone his age could teach an older friend a thing or two. So, who feels like drawing a picture today? Me! Wonderful. I was thinking we could all draw pictures about helping others. Oh. oh. Here's one I drew. I help my neighbor by watering his plants when he's away. Can anyone tell me a way that you help someone? I help my mom put away groceries. I help my dad find his glasses. Good. That's just the kind of thing I'd like you to draw. And when your pictures are all done, I'll put them up for everyone to see. All right, let's get busy. What are you gonna draw? I'm going to draw my cat because I help to feed him every day. Good idea. Uh-oh, there's no blue. I need blue for around Gilbert's eye. Here's one. Oops! <gasps> oh, the glitter! It looks like you had a little mishap. Can I help you tidy it up? Yes, please. There. 
That's all of it. Except for the glitter on my hands. I think you'd better wash those fancy hands of yours. Okay. Are you meant to wash his hands? But on his way to the washroom... Caillou! Come see Emma's picture! Caillou got distracted. <laughs> nice drawing of your cat, Emma. Aww. I was going to make a picture of my cat. You can still do that. It's okay if Caillou draws the same thing, isn't it? Of course. But I wanted mine to be special. Then maybe you can think of something different to draw. But you'll have to do it later because craft time is almost over. Uh, okay. Where'd these sparkles come from? Time to wash the fire truck. Hey, I know what to draw for my helping picture. Me helping Daddy wash the car. I think somebody already did that. Really? Hey, how come the fire truck is all sparkly? Oh, all the good ideas are taken. Do you ever rake the leaves, Caillou? Maybe that could be your helping picture. No, Daddy rakes the leaves. Then Rosie and I jump in them. <laughs> I guess that doesn't count as helping. Caillou, I'll trade you my plum for some grapes. Sure. Hey, this grape has glitter on it. But it's not from me. I washed my hands before snack time. That's funny. My picture had glitter on it, too. And so did the fire engine. Caillou, it's coming from you. There's glitter on your hands. Oh, yeah. I spilled some glitter this morning. I guess I forgot to wash my hands. It looks neat. Hey, touch this. Now it's a glitter bag. Caillou was having fun. He thought his sparkly hands were nice, and so did his friends. Ooh, I just thought of a game we could play. <laughs> You're it! Ah, ha, ha, the glitter bug got me! Glitter bug? I don't think I know this game. I just made it up. Caillou is the glitter bug because he has glitter on his hands. If he gets it on you, you're out. I see. But Caillou, I thought you washed your hands this morning. I forgot. But that's okay. It's fun to spread glitter. Glitter is fun. But when we don't wash our hands, we spread more than just glitter. We also spread germs. Let's pretend Caillou has a cold, and the glitter is his cold germs. Where would the germs be? On my picture. On the fire engine. On my arm. And on my grapes. Ew! But I don't have a cold, really. Good. Because if you were sick, you would have shared your germs with everybody. Suddenly, Caillou's glitter didn't seem quite so pretty anymore. I think I need to wash my hands. I think we all should. Well, bye-bye, pretty glitter. You mean bye-bye germs. <laughs> <laughs> wash them. It's my helping picture, because my glitter helped everyone see why we need to wash our hands. <laughs> that was a big help. You know what? I have the perfect place for your picture. <gasps> Oops! Forgot 
forgot to wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou and his classmates had learned a very important lesson about washing their hands. Now I'm going to wash mine. for a bike ride with his daddy. <gasps> Look, a kite! Can we go see Sarah? Sure, let's go. Hi, Sarah. I like your kite. Thanks, Caillou. It's a Chinese kite. It's made of bamboo and rice paper. Rice paper? <laughs> yeah, but you don't eat it. Did you notice the kite has a dragon on it, Caillou? Yeah, I like dragons. Do you want to fly it? Me? Sure. Is that okay, Daddy? Of course. I'll go and put our bikes away. <gasps> oh, no! Come back here! Uh. Are you all right? Oh no, your kite! Oh, I hope it's not broken. Terrible. He didn't mean to ruin Sarah's kite. I'm sorry, Sarah. I didn't mean to break it. I know. <sighs> Accidents happen. Maybe Daddy can help. Daddy! Be careful, Daddy. I'll be careful. Just a little further. Oh, got it! Is it really, really broken? I'm afraid so. Caillou? Caillou felt responsible for breaking Sarah's kite. But he thought he knew how to fix the problem. I know it's here somewhere. to the old kite. Oh, I see. What a shame. It's all my fault, Mommy. Can we please buy Sarah a new kite, please? I've got money. Well, that's very thoughtful of you, Caillou. Yeah, thanks, Caillou. I'm sorry, kids. I called the toy store, but they're all out of kites. But I broke Sarah's kite. I have to get her a new one. Maybe we can make a new one, Caillou. I'm sure I could find some instructions on the internet. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Caillou wasn't so sure. He didn't think a homemade kite would be as good as a kite from a store. Doggone glue. How are those pictures coming along? <laughs> Look, it's a princess. Nice. Do you like my scary dragon? Ah! <laughs> He's not that scary. A dragon and a princess. Now that sounds perfect for a kite. Bring them here and we'll get started. Okay. 
Caillou wasn't quite as excited as Sarah. He was afraid a homemade kite wouldn't turn out very well. Can't we call another toy store, Daddy? Maybe another store will have kites. This kite is going to be great, Caillou. You'll see. was amazed. Their homemade kite had turned out very well. I like it. It's windy. Let's see if it'll fly. Okay. I'll help you. I'm right here, Caillou. Something looks different. Oh, I think I see what's wrong. The string is tied to the wrong place. You're right, Sarah. Here, let me fix it for you. No glue on my fingers, I promise. There, that should do it. Give it a try. Thanks, Daddy. Thank you. Okay, Caillou, let's go. Caillou could hardly believe it. Their homemade kite was really flying. Look at it go! Yay! All right! Caillou, Sarah, good news! I found a toy store that sells kites. We could take a look if you like. No thanks. This kite's great! Yeah, here, Caillou, your turn. Caillou and Sarah loved their new kite. It was much better than the kite from the store because they had made it together. Caillou's mommy and daddy were going away on an overnight trip. Something tells me you wouldn't be interested in a grown-up golf trip. <laughs> but who's going to take care of us? Don't you remember? Grandma and Grandpa are going to spend the night. Yay! Grandma, Grandpa! Grandma, Grandpa! That's probably them now. Grandpa! Hi there, Caillou. Hello, Rosie. Thanks for coming over to take care of the kids. It's our pleasure. We're going to have lots of fun, aren't we, kids? Yeah! Fun! <sighs> have fun with Grandma and Grandpa. Watching Mommy and Daddy leave gave Caillou a funny feeling in his tummy. But Rosie felt even worse. Okay, Rosie. There, there, Rosie. We're going to have so much fun together. You and I and Grandpa and Caillou. Have a good time. Bye-bye. Caillou noticed how quiet the house was without Mommy and Daddy. Who's hungry for grilled cheese sandwiches? Me! me, me. me. <laughs> I'm hungry. Caillou loved grilled cheese sandwiches. He couldn't wait to eat lunch until Grandma served the sandwiches a little differently. That's not how Mommy makes them. She always cuts them straight across. Blue plate! Blue plate! And Mommy gives us blue plates with carrots, not celery. Not to worry. Grandpa and I just do things a little differently, but we'll work it out. Here you go. Oh, no. Those aren't for Caillou and Rosie. These ones are, right, kids? <laughs> no. <laughs> How about these ones? For these? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Stop. That's right. Yay! 
there. Now everybody's happy. Caillou and Rosie were happy. Grandma's grilled cheese sandwiches were almost as good as Mommy's. Grandpa, can you tie my shoe, please? I sure can. That's not the way Mommy does it. It's a double knot to make sure they're nice and snug. There, see? Now they're <laughs> super tied, never to come undone shoes. Caillou still wasn't sure he liked how Grandpa tied his shoes, but they certainly were very snug. Where's my paddle boat? I can't find it, Caillou. How about Froggy? <laughs> No, I always have a bath with my paddle boat. Well, maybe you'll just have to do things differently this time. Froggy here could be lots of fun. Hey, can I try? Caillou had to admit Froggy was kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want a different pair of jammies. I want my horsey jammies. But they're in the wash, Caillou. Oh, well, I like different jammies. Maybe they'll fit me. Hmm, how do you put on pajamas? Does this go on your head? Or maybe you wear this like a cape. Or how about backwards? No, <laughs> no! You wear jammies like this. Ah, so that's how it goes on. Let's see. Goldilocks and the three stairs. Bears! Oh, yes, bears it is. One day, Goldilocks said, what a beautiful house in the forest. That's not Goldilocks. Mommy and Daddy do the voices differently. Oh, you mean... Goldilocks should sound like this? No, Goldilocks. How about like this? No, Goldilocks talks like this. Hi, I'm Goldilocks. Ooh, then Mama Bear should sound like, uh, I'm Mama Bear. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, Mama Bear talks like this. And Papa Bear talks like this. Rawr! Caillou liked Grandma and Grandpa's new voices. <laughs> they were even sillier than Daddy's. <sighs> oh, dear. We better finish this story. It's almost bedtime. Grandma, I know something different we could try. You do? What's that? Letting me and Rosie stay up late. <laughs> I think that might be a little too different for tonight. <laughs> We're home! Hi! Did you have a nice trip? We sure did! <laughs> What's happening over here? Mommy! Daddy! We've decided it's okay to do things differently, like sitting upside down. Ooh, that's right. But I think sitting right side up is still my favorite. Do Grandma and Grandpa have to go now? I think we can stay a bit longer. Yay! Yay! Now, who wants grilled cheese sandwiches? With carrots. Me! Me! Me too! Caillou and Rosie realize that doing things differently can be just as much fun. Mm -hmm.